Here we go. You want to be like? Sensitivity equals fucking poverty. Insensitive culture of the podcast. Check it out, homie. Everyone. Welcome to episode 232 of Insensitive Culture. As always, you know me. What's up, what? You know my guy on the other end. And that full blazer, Ramon. You know who's here this week? <laughs> Man, you know who we be. Insensitive Culture, the podcast. Make sure you check it out, homie. Your favorite casual nerds. Hey. In the hey. building. Johnny, what's your shirt say? New... New York grown. New York grown. Is that a double entendre? Uh, yeah, it's a weed shirt. Nice. Okay. And a dick shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he oh, wanted. Man. I just gave him what he wanted. I gave in. <laughs> oh, man. I shared that drop uh, that you guys grabbed from last week with Danny. Oh, nice. Yeah. He could oh, not bad stop idea. laughing. It was great. I made <laughs> I Ash listen to it idea. like it 30 great. times. I said, so, Ash, I got some news. And then I played it, and she's like, what about the kids? I said, they'll be what fine. About the kids? What about the kids? Oh, they'll be oh, fine. Oh, that's hilarious. They'll be fine. What about the kids? Uh, we need a what about the kids shirt now. <laughs> what about I know, the- right? Yeah, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, uh-oh. I suddenly like dick. <laughs> but what about the kids? But what about the kids? Oh, man. Out of context, that is so wild. Yeah. Such a wild job. It, it was pretty wild in context, too. I mean, it was pretty wild in context, but that was only because I knew. Right. I knew it would be exactly what it turned out to be. Yeah. It was it was pre show too, so it didn't it didn't make the full episode. <laughs> well, why did uh, I do that to only myself? Only the casual nerds uh, got to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I love it, man. Anything new y'all want to share with the with the crowd? Mm, what's popping? What's popping? Not first new? of October. Yeah, first of October. Love first it. Of, first of spooky October. season. Sweater we weather don't... officially here. Sweater weather. Uh, I, well, you're you're by the water, so I'm sure it's a lot colder for you. The water mm, at night, yeah. In the it's daytime at, yeah. is it's it's one of the it's that time of year where it's like weird. Like mm-hmm. at night, it'd be like, yo, it's so cold, and you yeah, wake up in the morning, and be like, damn, it's chilly. So I wake up, I throw on a hoodie, and then like an hour later, I'm like sweating, and I'm like, what the fuck mm-hmm. just happened? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we uh, thought we were at that point where we could just open the windows. It's nice and breezy, and uh, so so we turned off the AC. We had everything airing out. You know, that night got a little cool, mm-hmm. uh, but not cool enough because that in the middle of the night, bro, I was sweating <laughs> up oh. a storm, bro. Mm-hmm. And then you know, it's like you're Good you're night. in disbelief. You're like, you know, after a couple days, you're like. Nah, we're gonna get a. It's gonna be cold one of these days because it's been. <laughs> it right. was cold up until the time when I turned this shit off. Yeah, and sure enough, didn't. So sure enough, the AC came right back on. Sweating, <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Until until we get to that point where it's like, there's no doubt in my mind. Um, yeah. Then usually that's like November. Like, uh, yeah. Once November hits, that's pretty pretty solid that you can turn that shit off till sometimes uh, every now and April. again it's like mid mid October, maybe yeah. to late. We get that cold, rainy season part of the mm-hmm. season. Mm-hmm. Ugh. But I love it. I got I'm, sweater weather is honestly that's my favorite. You know? Same like that, that yeah. hoodie weather. <laughs> love it. If it's on point, yeah, for sure. This man said same, but moved out to Cali. I know, mm-hmm. right? I <laughs> nighttime. Nighttime is nighttime is sweater weather. It does get chilly at night. Yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. You're right. But it's it's we're in a hot streak right now, so it's it's been like upper nineties. It's gonna be upper nineties all week. Bro, I remember hot going I remember going to San Fran for, for work. Oh, it's and, cold in San Fran, Sam. Well right. nah, but it, it was I mean, you would think so. Yeah, all I mean, the, normally all the it people, is. It barely gets above, like, 75 there. 
Well, all the people that were there were in like parkas, bro, like full mm. thick ass fucking parkas, and I'm yeah. just walking around in a hoodie, like yeah, like that was their cold. They're in fucking North yeah. Face. If it's coats. below eighty, you'll see people in jackets and hoodies out here mm. for sure. It's wild. Yeah, it is wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Meanwhile, right. The kids, the kids are putting on sweatshirts in hundred degree weather. Hoodie with shorts. I don't get it. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but. No. I tried it. I thought it was cool. I was like, let <laughs> me see what no. these, let me see if I'm missing out on something that these kids <laughs> must, must, they must have figured something out that I, and, and then I, and then I was like, no, they're just either super skinny or super dumb. No, they are super insane is what yeah. it is. Cause, uh, cause I, I've seen people wearing it. And then you know they'll take it. They take off their sweatshirt. I'm like, my girl has um, uh, uh, nieces and nephews, you know, that are in their teens. And then they'll finally take that shit off, and it's just straight sweat. <sighs> yeah. Like, bro. Stress. So what the fuck? Why? You know? Why are I mean, you suffering? Whatever. If yeah, you got a you full suffering? zip, you could wear it with. A, you could wear a full zip, just unzipped with uh, with shorts. It's good for like nighttime. Maybe even then, sometimes not in the middle of fucking July, bro. No, no, not in the middle. There's no need for that shit in the middle of July. That's what I'm saying. But even at like two in the morning, from fucking yeah, it's crazy. Midnight to midnight, too many Hollister ads. Yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's because we're old, but you know the people, the people that are dropping like flies are pretty much confirming that. Don't get me started. I know, I know, sad. All right. Well, let's get into some questions. Question, question. All right. All right. Well, fellas, first Casey question. Jason. I'm not going to keep going like that. Um, no, go what is an old fashioned practice or belief that is now considered pretty wild if it were uh, to still take place? What do you got? Uh, I'll go. Um, One thing that I used to do for sure as a kid that I think about pretty often and how I would never let anyone and any one of my kids do it is um, driving around in the like in the back of the truck and like, yeah, Yeah. or in the pickup for sure. But I used to do it in a station wagon. Like, Mm, mm -hmm. you know, you get in the back. The station wagons used to have a, a seat. That was the facing facing outward. the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my my aunt had one of those. I used to I used to rock yeah. that. Yeah, my that's that's one. fucking wild. No, that's not. There were seatbelts back there though. Like we were we sure. were seatbelted in. The, that totally protected you when a car rammed you from the rear. <laughs> oh, I yeah. mean, yeah. yeah, that's not that's not gonna be great. But it's not as wild as like being in the back of a pickup. Like there's nothing. But like, you're just rolling no, around sure, in sure. that bed. <laughs> oh, for sure. I used uh, to my rock parents, that. My dad used to have me go in the back of the moving truck when we would move. Yeah. That's Oh my uh, god. Yeah, exactly. There's like no air. Well, you get something back something there. slides and like crushes you like a yeah. fridge or some <laughs> yeah. shit, bro. That's yeah. crazy. That it's, is it's wild. Very wild. Very wild. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm telling you, I'm surprised I lived this long. So <laughs> right. um, all your limbs and shit. <laughs> yeah. Anything. Um, that, and, and it's, uh, it's wild to me that, um, people would just tell their kids to get the fuck out and don't come back until the the street lights come home. Like uh, our street lights come, uh, you know, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. I am not. You just just kick Violet out. You're like, all right, hon, I'll see you later tonight. You go have fun playing. Right. You know, it's crazy. like, hey, watch your watch. It's it's now and around the house, I'm like, yo, or or you know, somewhere controlled, right? Like Strong Museum mm-hmm. will go and like they're in the monkey or the the um, I was gonna say the monkey bars, but the you know, like the little play area, whatever. Uh, the jungle gym, that's what I meant. Mm. And I'll say, keep an eye on your sister, because I can't always catch her when she wa- runs out, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every time that happens, Xander or Alani will walk right up to me with, with not a sibling. 
Okay, where's your, and I'm uh, like, yo, where is your sister? Oh, um, I don't know. Uh-huh. Didn't I tell you to watch your sister and to keep an eye on her? I was playing. Uh, uh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> so can you imagine, like, coming home, like the kid comes home. Kids come home, like, where's your, uh, where's and your the, sister? Yeah. Yeah, and the little sister uh-huh. is just nah. She's not here. What do you mean? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, nah. I'm neighborhood oh, watch. Yeah, that's why she didn't. She didn't. She's not here already. <laughs> yeah, fuck all that. I bro. thought she ran ahead. Oh, she nah. in trouble now. <laughs> Play it up like you're yeah. mad at her, so you don't that's, get mad at her. That's how. That's how Stephen King started. Mm-hmm. All right, you heard about that, right? Uh, like. Him being a kid and witnessing his friend get hit by a train. Yeah, yeah. He was like five. Shit sticks with you, dog. Yeah. Did not know that. Yeah. He left the house, met up with a friend. They were playing by some train tracks. The kid got hit by a train. He came home and and just did not talk for I don't know how long. And then he somehow, like, that memory... Got dug in there, and he just, like, blocked it out or some shit. Mm. I'm going to write some scary shit now. Yeah, and since then, yeah, he's been (laughs) (laughs) writing a lot of scary shit. So, anyway. He he was actually good at writing. Yeah. Yeah, he had to let that shit out somehow. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Because if it wasn't that, it was murder. (laughs) (laughs) Ooh. All right. What are y'all thinking? I, uh, so... This one comes from my dad and my uncle, the stories that they would tell me. Um, They went to Edison uh, for high school, and I forget which which grades they were there for, Um, but they straight up told me that when it was time to swim in swim class, like in gym class, Mm -hmm. ass naked. Everybody was naked. Swimming ass naked? Yes, in That's school? Wild. In school, bro. In school. Swimming. Naked. Like just the boys? Yes, yes. It was just the boys class. But still. That's, that's wild. wild. That's yeah. wild. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting like, a note. I'm bringing boys? in a note from home. I, I mean, I just can't imagine that the girls yeah, yeah, would yeah, be no, there no, too. I know, but I'm like, nah, Jesus that'd be Christ. wild. That'd be wild. That'd that's be... like the Playboy Grotto. Word, that's that the ain't 70s, going down. right? It's <laughs> <laughs> probably like the yeah, late sixties. Yeah. Um, sorry, we always go on the tangents, but my my uh, my father in law told me a similar story how his his brother used to go to school and have because he would go hunting after school, so he would just bring his rifle to school. That's another one. In his one. book bag, just sticking out, like whatever. And then he would get to school, and he would put his rifle in his book bag or in his locker, and then take it out. And then afterward, he would just go hunting. Like it wasn't a big deal that he had a fucking rifle. Not at all. Jeez, <laughs> it's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh shit. My dad also told me that um, when he was in Catholic school, the nuns would wouldn't hesitate to beat the shit out of you. If you weren't listening, they'd smack your fucking head, hit you with shit, like just savage. And that sure is fucking flying no more. (sighs) Should, though. I mean, sometimes, some kids. Some kids, yeah. Some kids, for sure. I guess they need at least three. (laughs) What are you thinking, Johnny? You come up with anything? I, I mean, I was thinking way more old timey. Oh yeah, sure. like bloodletting. Uh, c- close. <laughs> what do you? you can go, we can go more old timey. Um, What's bloodletting? Bloodletting is when um they would use um uh they would literally like like cut you to mm-hmm. let the blood out. Yeah, to just drain your blood to let toxins blood, to let and toxins sickness loose. out. Yes. Yeah, Christ. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then at, at some point they would use uh, they started using uh, not sloths, um, leeches, leeches, yeah, ah. to to do something similar. Um, no, I was thinking lobotomies. Oh yes, which one is uh, that? What is that like? That's when, they, when would... they would take a scoop a chunk out of your front of your brain to mm-hmm. fix you, 
um, because you were having um, uh, maybe not schizophrenic episodes, Ep- but this is some sort of episode. Ep- yeah, manic, the epileptic, manic episodes. Manic episodes. Our homegirl in uh, The Boys, Sage, she would have to lobotomize oh. herself to like be normal <laughs> for a little bit. Just like be regular because she was too smart normally. So that's how she would like almost get fucked up and relax. Yeah. Nice. We can yeah. all use that. We can all use a lobotomy every <laughs> now and then. <laughs> every now nah. and then. I mean, if you were as gifted as Sage and your brain yes. just reconstructed itself consistently. <laughs> yeah. This is my Why lobotomy. Not? If you could just dumb down for an hour or two. That'd be nice. That Hell wouldn't yeah. be too bad. That's better than a blunt. I don't know about that, but might be. Yeah. <laughs> it's close. This is a close. Lobotomy one. and a blunt. There you hey, go. Hey, there you go. L and L. Now he's spitting. <laughs> L and L. Uh, anything else? Um, no, that was really the only one that I was thinking of. Uh, bloodletting is an honorable mention. Bloodletting is an honorable mention. <laughs> um. Let me see. Uh, what else? Old timey, um, dueling. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. It's, that would definitely be considered wild now, but that yeah. was standard back in the day. Like you were a bitch if you didn't duel. Yeah, mm. I challenge you. That's rough, for- bro. Like you really can't pop shit because if you get challenged to a duel, like it's on. Like you yeah. got to back your shit up. What, what about what, whether it's a sword duel or or a shooting duel? Yeah. Mm-mm. You you got to represent for the family. Mm-hmm. Your what about uh, 1950s America, right? We can we can fix a woman by smacking her good once or twice. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what that's what Trump is trying to bring back. I was about to say 2024 uh Southern America seems like that's pretty They're normal right yeah. there. Also yeah. par. Never, uh, I will never forget it. Um, I was in a, <laughs> I was driving one day and I was at a light and in the car in front of me were two older people, like mad old, right? And the old lady was in the passenger seat and she looks like she's like yelling at him or she's like going crazy. She's like, I, I, I can't make out what she's saying, obviously. And she's like spazzing out. And the old man just, like, put his hand up like he was about to hit her. And she just, like, blocked herself. And then she stopped. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Like, it was some wild-ass shit. Damn. Uh, this was, and this was early 2000s. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was going to, uh, I was going to bring it up on the, on the news. But we could talk about it now, how uh, Von Miller from the Buffalo Bills uh, just got suspended for four games for – Choking out a pregnant woman in Texas. Oh, oh shit. Geez. No big deal. No big deal mm. at all. Nah. I mean, is she um, is she hurt? Really? Is the, is the baby I mean, okay? <laughs> is the baby? Okay? That's the question we <laughs> That's should the be question. asking. Yeah. It's only four games. Come it's on, only guys. four games. Uh, yeah. Bring that back up so we can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, all right, you want to go to the next question? No, yeah, yeah, next one. Uh, what is one job that you guys think you would excel at, even though you do not have any sort of formal training or experience uh, in in said field? Mm. I'd like to hear your answer here before I provide one. Me or, uh, or Dave? I, I thought Either or. Okay. I thought I would make an excellent cop. Or detective, I feel like that would be a kick-ass, kick-ass gig. Until be, until, uh, until it came time to like chase somebody down. Nah, I can run, son. We going. It's on. You try and you run for me. You tripping. I mean, fast as that, a motherfucker. As long as it's fine. like within a half mile. Just don't no no marathon type shit. Yeah, but what's gonna happen when you stop running and you catch him? Well. I can't say that. I got to turn my camera off and then I'll, <laughs> I'll let you know what's up. <laughs> what you think? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just shooting. <laughs> no, I mean, if they didn't drug test talk, I would have went to cop school or whatever the fuck they got to do to be a cop. I just like cop to smoke school. too much herb, son. Sure. Nice. But if I could smoke or- herb and just like roll around, give them motherfuckers tickets and shit. You like slamming motherfuckers it. to the ground? 
Let's go. <laughs> that's, that's the Napoleon in him. <laughs> Got to do it. Got to um, do it. Just, days. I just abide. No, I. That's fair. Um, <laughs> I think I would. I, I'd be a. I think I'd be a dope ass meteorologist, son. Okay. That's what's up. I can okay. see that. <laughs> yeah, I can get up there. Yeah, I, I, I'd even go as far as saying a news anchor. I think I'd go mm, up there. Mm. Maybe maybe the first one will be a little shaky for a little bit, but then I'll catch a little You'll be bro, in. and I'm going. I'm going. I'm be good. like a Puerto, Puerto Rican Don Elhart. Yep. That's what's up. Yep. That was my guy, son. That was my guy. Don Elhart. Uh, <laughs> he I passed, know. right? Nah, he just retired. He's still, he's still with us. He's still around? Yeah. You sure about that? Uh, not a hundred percent. No. <laughs> <laughs> with, with how things are now, know, wait, motherfucker's right? been dropping this past week, son. I'm checking on my mom, my dad, everybody. Yeah. Word. Uh, no, yeah, yeah he's. Uh, oh, whoa. Uh, thought, I thought he, it's it said till 2024, but no, it was years active. Ah, yes, yes, yes. 2024. He's, he's still he's still with us. Yeah, eighty years old, Donnie. That's it. My man looks way older than that. <laughs> yeah, it's wait, he should only just retired. I could have yes, swore like he last retired. year, dog, or earlier this year. This year, yeah, bro. Was, yes, June yes. 6th. Yeah, it was June. My man. Yeah, I could have swore he retired like two, three years ago. Nah, he's Fucking still playing hey. that news. That's crazy. good for him. Fuck if yeah. only it, I'm so lucky. Mm-hmm. Same. Y'all got some like real professional jobs. I need to think of a professional job. I was thinking of something more basic, like, He's like a blunt roller, roller coaster operator. I mean, I'm sure you'd be a dope roller coaster yeah, operator. Good personality, motherfuckers chilling, laughing in line and shit. You would kill that, son. But whatever, you could do what, this is what you, you want to do, son. Word. Whatever. Is that, you is think that what you, you aspire do. to? That's not what I aspire <laughs> to. Well, if you had to think of like a a real official pro- profession. Uh, be a, a, a lawyer? I could see you prof- being a lawyer, dog. Where you be questioning you, shit and devil's advocate with, and whatnot. <laughs> what do you excel without that? Without without any problems. I mean, if you need, I mean, you need to do some research and study your law shit. But I mean, like, but I wouldn't want you to be like my lawyer. But like, if you hopped into someone, I feel like you could. But you said without any prior of, training. I mean, yeah. you know, so yeah, like so uh, my no, cousin no Vinny. Training. If I just if I only had to do the arguing. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So I had like a a, a a legal aid, legal analyst, which whatever they the fuck all do. They're called. They put that shit um, together. And paralegal. Just, there you go. That's mm-hmm. the word. If I, mm-hmm. I had a paralegal to do all the work mm-hmm. and just tell me like these are the facts of the case, go for it. Yeah, yeah, I could fuck with that. I see that. I can see that. I could definitely rock. So we got yeah. a cop, a lawyer. Quest and quest for hire. Quest and quest. <laughs> <laughs> Walk. What were you about to be again? What were you? I said I'd be a, either a, a meteorologist, meteorologist or, oh, that's or, right. a or a news anchor. Word, word. Yeah, that's what's I can up. Do that. you can, I can you see can, that. You can give me that job tomorrow, and I will. I one hundred percent. I'd be a little nervous, but I'll do it. Sure, sure. Can't wear that what? casual nerd hoodie, but read the prompter and shit. Be in a suit and shit. I don't know if I ever seen you in a suit before, dog. I've, I've been in a suit. It's like I've been in a suit once yeah, or twice. I dabble. I a couple suits, suits. You know what I mean. You don't even need pants. You just the jacket and you fly. You good. Yeah, yeah, you good. <laughs> you don't even need no dress pants or shit. Word. Just some loafers. <laughs> they still sell them with some the pennies. Loafers. I don't. I know. I, th- I thought you had to put the pennies in there yourself. Yeah, I Maybe. think so. Maybe. I don't know. I never. They jack jack the price up. But they come with pennies. I, I don't know. Owned a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck uh, are these ten dollars and two cents? <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right, all right. Last question, right. fellas. You ready? Yeah. Give me one MCU role that you would recast, and who you would cast in their place instead. This is tough because I know we love the MCU and everything's pretty nope. set in stone. Nope. What you got? Oh, is it easy? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Give me. Uh, my choice was easy. It was harder to find his replacement, but I think I yeah. feel confident in that. What's up? Um, that motherfucker that played Iron Fist, bro. Get him mm. the fuck out of here. Get him the fuck out of here. Iron Fist, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Danny Randall or whatever. Yeah, Danny Rand, wait, wait. who played Danny That's, Rand. Is that the actor's name? No, or the Danny Rand name? is uh is the, the character. Oh, okay. Mm. 
Um, I'd say give that role to uh, Miles Teller. Miles Teller, huh? Yeah, I think okay. he would. I think he would fuck with uh, with a role like that, like playing, you know, like fighting and shit. Martial arts. Yeah, martial arts. Okay. He might, he might fuck with that. You know was me. The, Interesting. You know me. I got a second one too. I, I was a, he I was he Asian in like the comics and shit? No. Iron Fist, or was it always a white dude? Just it's a white dude. Fucking okay. Yeah, he's a he he's a, a like million or billionaire. Uh, mm. You know, he's a billionaire kid, uh, and fucking I don't know. I think his plane crashed somewhere in like uh, somewhere Asian, like uh, you know, in Asia. And it's big. It's big. Big place. Yes, big big place. And he, um, yeah. So and he was lost out there and was taught all of the ways, and mm. then came back and tried to reclaim. See, that's kind of a dope backstory. It's sad that it they is. fucked that shit up like that. Sure did. Fuck. Good sure one did. though. I like it. I didn't really think yeah. about the shows too much, but they are no, they are canon. So yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. canon now. Yeah, so you're good. You're it good. Works. You are good, Johnny. What What do you got? Um, I would totally uh, get rid of uh, uh, the Falcon. Mm. Um, yeah, that's a good one, Anthony Mackie. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Never. Even though he Anthony grew Mackie on me, fan. I still wouldn't wouldn't be mad at a complete recast from the beginning and not having to deal with Anthony Mackie yeah. at all. Yeah, that would have been great. He grew on me, but in the way that like an itchy mole grows on you, and <laughs> mm -hmm. it's still like eh, it's there. I've dealt with it. Yeah, I it's still fine. Don't, I don't know. Right. It's fine. I, I it's part of you now. What time. can you do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I changed my mind after this new uh, yeah. Brave New World captain, but probably not. Uh, but. but probably not. I still would rather have <laughs> someone else in that role. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who and would kill that role? I honestly have no idea, but I'm just gonna throw someone out there. I'm gonna say Mark Paul Gosler. Mark Paul Mark Gosler. Paul Gosler. Why As not throw him in the MCU? Black Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. That. Well, that's, that's not his name. It's just the Falcon. Yeah. He don't got to be black. But uh, that's fair. wasn't he black in the comics? It's just, just a little whitewashing. No Ooh, big okay. deal. All right. Yeah, I mean, they do it the other way. They do. Right. They do. It's only fair. Yeah. It's only fair. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a little Zach uh, Morris. <laughs> <laughs> My man said Mark Paul Gossler <laughs> to replace Paul Gossler. him for the Falcon. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing it with the hair. He'd be like Homelander. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah exactly. He kind of does look like Homelander yeah, now that you say bit. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've, I've heard that. And then he's got the, before. and Falcon wears the, the red, white, and blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's probably the same look, That's actually. Probably, yeah. Just get, uh, Except with the wings. Yeah, that'll work. I'm yeah, with I it. Would, uh, Tony Starr. Tony Starr could just take that role. Why even yeah, fuck with yeah, Zach yeah. Morris? Just give it to I him. mean, I would fuck with Zach Morris only if they um, either uh, a movie or a show was named Saved by the Falcon. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. And that would totally that would just like. Or, or if they do like a. Uh, uh, like you know how they did the the transition when they they moved from uh, the two roadies mm -hmm. uh, with mm -hmm. Cuba Gooding. If they did like a transition and that was the episode title, Saved by the Falcon. Oh, oh nice! It'd be great, <laughs> Mr. Belding cameo. <laughs> Got everyone, looks, Got everyone who sees him this next time is just like, "There's something different about you." Like, and then really we all different. chuckle. And really? then he looks at the camera the way he used to yeah. on Saved by the Bell. Time and the Saved by the Bell theme starts Time playing. Out. Oh, he times out. He freeze <laughs> yeah. frames, fourth wall. Yeah. Now, that's then Deadpool comes in, and he's like, yo, what the fuck, and shoots him in the fucking head. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Love it. Oh, uh, man, that's crazy. Uh, uh, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was great, Johnny. <laughs> I am going to – I'm going to recast Kang. Okay. As much as Jonathan Majors killed it, we all know that Jonathan Majors didn't uh, behave appropriately sure. uh, and yeah. is not a fantastic dude. So I, I, this is honestly just so that the Kang story could be played out as it was originally intended. I feel like we missed some good shit there um, 
because of Jonathan Majors. And obviously, my boy John David Washington jumping in to fill that to fill that role. Mm-hmm. Um, does he have the range of a Jonathan Majors? Absolutely not. But you know what? I don't care. He would do okay. an adequate job. And that's okay. that's all we need. Somebody to act, need. say their adequate. lines, and not hit women. I think that's not asking <laughs> that's, that's, that's not asking the, too uh, much from an MCU be, actor. I might reverse those that order. Mm-hmm. As long as they're all it's included. Up to you. It's just, up to you. you know, that's all. That's all that matters. Do yeah. do those things. Uh, my honorable mention was uh, Jessica yeah. Jones. Mm. And I would You're really hating on them shows, dog. We, we get mean, it. They weren't they, fantastic, are, my guy. I guess I guess they were low hanging fruit. <laughs> yeah, um, they, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't care. Uh, Jessica Jones wasn't too bad to me. Uh, but I feel like the actor was good, but the show was meh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was just Kristen. Nothing. Nothing Ritter. crazy about it. That's it. Um, yeah. But either way, I would replace her with um, Aubrey Plaza. Mm. Ooh. Because yeah. she would have. I would not be mad at that. I'm never she mad at Aubrey. She would have killed that role, and we would have been looking at Ab- Aubrey Plaza for a couple of seasons. Getting smashed too. Yeah. She was catching that pipe oh, yeah, in that true. show, yeah, from yeah. what I remember. Uh huh. Yep, I see what you're doing. She was huh? catch, catching that Luke Cage. Mm. Yep. Uh oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that wasn't that. <laughs> oh, shit. The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> eternally eternally i gotta start bringing I th- drops back. i thought you said internally <laughs> internally oh i wish i did now that you said that <laughs> oh hey you oh man all right i think that's it all right yeah that's that is it next week uh walk you got homework i want you to think of a role from the movies that you would recast <laughs> just, just remind me just remind me i'm, I'm sure i'll come all up right, with something. all right think about it you got a week sure for sure it'd probably be mark ruffalo but who would replace him i, I thought know. that too i was gonna say edward norton crazy <laughs> i know i know uh yeah anyway anyway that's Johnny, it that's all i got hit us with some you know what it's time for News uh lots of news not a lot of news um there's serious shit to talk about let's see uh iran is bombing israel might be another payback uh mid-east conflict who the hell knows Mm, mm -hmm. everything just keeps this shit is just never ending it's escalating too uh continuing to escalate you know and everyone every time anything happens over there it's kind of like Okay, we're done. No, no, we're done. We did our thing. We're done. No no need to, to go any further. And then the other guy's like, well, what do you mean? Now it's my turn. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, I think that's the definition of tit for tat, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, which Pretty is much. what they've been doing since, like, the 60s, mm-hmm. um, 40s. Who the hell knows? Um, but, yeah, that's happening. Um, I actually, I was like super nervous this morning because someone sent me that, some article about, uh, Iran, uh, you know, the U S says that, uh, Iran, uh, imminently going to fire ballistic missiles. And, uh, I somehow read that as like nuclear ballistic missiles. Mm-hmm. And I was like, holy shit, it's really going down. It's over. It's shit is yeah. fucking over. Like, who cares about the election anymore? Uh, and then, yeah, no, that's that's definitely not what It's what funny happened. how shit's wild like that when you wake up. There's like two or three minutes when you wake yeah. up or initially that anything is plausible almost. Like, you just, you misinterpret text. Like, you look at a text real quick and you totally fucking misread it. Like, you thought it said something else. It's That's weird how that happens. Like, you're just not with it yet. Right. But, yeah, anyways, that's... Uh, that happened. Um, I mean, just uh, everything that's been happening. Uh, Israel invaded Lebanon uh, over the past couple of days. Um, it's just a, a lot of shit's uh, happening in the Middle East. So um, mm-hmm. thoughts and prayers 
Um, Always. I don't even. I, I have no real comment uh, on that unless you all Smart. do. But no, 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 absolutely not. No, you're not. Um, the mayor of New York City was arrested. Ooh. For nice. the wackest reasons ever. Uh oh. What do we got? Uh, so the mayor of New York was arrested. Uh, or well, I'm sorry, he wasn't arrested. He was indicted, uh, charged with uh, bribery and fraud. Um, and uh, apparently he was helping uh, Turkey uh, by help by the, again, like I said, the wackest reasons ever. Mm -hmm. So Turkey needed to. Um, they were trying to uh, rebuild their consulate or do some work on their embassy. And um, they were running into issues with the fire code. So they offered him, like, free flights on Turkish airlines. <laughs> and, uh, and, and that's what he got. Uh, Dave's camera just dropped out. I don't know if you noticed. We back. We back. Hold up. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, they, he, they offered him free um free airline um tickets and then he got like business class which oh they bumped him they some people are like damn bro you didn't even go up to first class i don't know how turkish airlines does it because some of these airlines actually like they call first class business class but either way um not like the best thing to go out for bro like right I mean, I hear yeah. turkey is lit, though. Uh, yeah, for, like, um, hair plugs. Nah. <laughs> nah. I, I, I hear it, it was, it's actually pretty lit out there. Damn. Um, I've heard it's nice, it's beautiful, it's fun. I mean, there's it's it's yeah. Europe. It's it's not like you would think, the, being a Muslim-majority country, that it would be, like, oppressive, and it's not. It's one yeah. of the, like, liberal Muslim countries. Um, so yeah, I have also heard that as well, but, um, Still not, not, not enough it. for me to lose my mayorship of New York. Yeah. That's first, true. That's first true. mayor in 177 years of New York city existing to be arrested, mm. um, or charged rather, um, with a crime. I don't know if it's worse that he was, uh, just like, you know, uh, indicted for some sort of crime or it's because, you know, he was the only one that was caught. Uh, fair, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I'm it, very yeah. sure that it, he is not the only one to take such briberies. There are ways to do exactly what he did without doing Being it stupid. illegally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you could, I mean, you could pull yeah. some shit about. Um, let's make New York and Istanbul sister cities, and I'm promoting tourism between Turkey and New York. You know what I mean? Shit like that. But they got text messages of this motherfucker telling his girl uh, his girl was trying to get a flight or, or his girl, they were trying to plan a vacation or whatever. And he was like, yeah, but, you know, Istanbul got to be the first stop because, <laughs> you know, the right. layover has to look like we're going yeah. free line. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like moron, bro. Damn. Dude is just he's, I mean, he's this is not a good man. criminal. He was. This was the same man who was burning all of those uh, pounds of of weed a few weeks ago. Yeah, oh, that's the dude that and gave he, the smell. He, he smelled the yeah. bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ah, the bag, okay, it, now it's it tracking. And walks away. <laughs> and he's a former cop. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would think a former cop knows how to be a better criminal, but apparently yeah. not. Mm -mm. Yeah, big, Some big, just, big, uh, big mistake there. Staying Some people the just think that they're, 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 they're untouchable after a certain point, and then they that's when they start fucking, fucking up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking about people feeling they're untouchable, uh, we talked about this a little earlier. Uh, Von Miller. Von From Miller. From the Buffalo Bills uh, getting suspended for a whole four games uh, for an alleged domestic violence incident. Uh, so no charges sad. were filed, though. Um, oh. Interesting. I guess she yeah. didn't. Uh, she didn't file um, any charges. That typically so how happens did, how in domestic did this violence all come to light? issues. How did I'm sorry? I what? mean, the how cops did, were called. Like there was this? an incident, and they just didn't file charges. I'm guessing. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. You know, typically uh, a woman's like, oh, no, never mind. He loves me. I don't want to press charges. Or she knows someone's still got to support that baby. Right. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. So uh, I don't Four know what's going to happen with him uh, from uh, uh, a uh, football uh, standpoint. I, I don't he's think he's even really games. been playing for the Bills. Not really. He, if he has, he hasn't been doing much. I don't. Yeah. I don't hear his Maybe name been getting injured called. or something. Four games. I don't know. That seems that seems light. I feel like dudes get more games suspended for gambling and shit like than choking Seriously. a pregnant woman. Seriously, those, uh, those punishments are out of control in all sports. It isn't just football. <laughs> they be wilding, bro. Mm-hmm. These uh, these football players be tripping. Mm-hmm. For yeah, real. Um, and um, you know uh, one one of the greats. Um, uh, in a long line of list, which we, we might just have to have an entire dedicated like a, in memoriam. In memoriam, yeah, I was gonna say. Um, but uh, but one of the uh, athletic greats, uh, Pete Rose, passed away mm-hmm. also this week. Um, yeah. Speaking of continued gambling, continued to be held out of the Hall of Fame for gambling. Mm-hmm. Um, meanwhile, plenty of domestic abusers are in the Hall of Fame. Oh, no yeah. problem. Steroid users, steroiders. Yeah, you know they'll yep. they still haven't put in uh, the original three. No, no, they Mark, haven't. Sammy, and uh, 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 Rafael Palmero. Palmero, yeah. They're, they're those are like the, the poster children of yeah. steroids. Yeah, they don't they don't have a shot. But like David Ortiz, ah, let them in. No big deal. That was later. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, it's uh, what they call a two-faced uh, approach. Mm. Um, but, yeah, uh, Walk, if you want to do – if you have uh, that list in front of you, uh, rundown of all the folks we lost this week, which uh, seem to be a lot um, I don't, compared I don't to most weeks. I don't have the list, but we've shared enough, and there were – so close uh, that you know I can I can definitely come up with it. Um, so for sure, uh, you mentioned Pete Rose, uh, yep. Dikembe Mutombo passed Dikembe away. Dikembe Mutombo, right. NBA player. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Maggie Smith uh, Maggie passed Smith, away. Actress, oh, that's right. Uh, Bridgerton. Peace. Yes. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Um, Frank Ritz. From the American Pickers. Ah, oh, uh, Frankie. That one hit. That one hit yeah, hard. Yeah, that one. Oh. That one. That one was rough. Uh, Watched whoa, a lot of American whoa, was Pickers. Was that also a uh, cancer? They didn't say. Um, I don't think. Uh-huh. No, it was. Um, uh, he had a. Uh, I believe he had a. Was it a stroke? Mm. I think he had a stroke a couple of years ago, and um, and he hasn't been well since. And then mm. uh, okay. he succumbed to that. So. Um, and, uh, last, but definitely not least, uh, John Amos. Yes. John Amos. Yeah. Mr. McDowell. Well. Mr. McDowell. Shit. That's crazy. Yeah. All within a span of like three days. Right. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. A good amount of them. We just found out about it today. I was like, like bang, bang, insane. bang. Yeah. It was, it was crazy. crazy. Did it you was, see yeah, what, uh, it was like too much. <laughs> Rob it Schneider is. retweeted the to, oh. D- Dikembe Mutombo. No, no, no. Rob Schneider re- retweeted the Dikembe Mutombo death tweet uh, and pretty much insinuated that it was because he was vaccinated. Oh, that was God. he oh, was God. like making a joke and just being a fucking cocksucker like he is. Shocker. What is the point of that? Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing. Nothing. There is no point. He's a loser. That yeah. tracks. Even his daughter think, doesn't fuck with him. Right. I don't think anything that has tells you a lot. there. Like Elon. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, let's see uh, what else happens here. Um, get ready for uh, prices to go up on things, not just on gas because of this uh, Iranian stuff, mm. um, but more than likely uh, the prices of everything are going to go up. Uh, dock workers went on strike today. 
Um, and depending on how long that uh, strike goes, uh, dock workers uh, along the entire East Coast uh, went mm. on strike, um, which uh, apparently covers like 75% of the things that we – is it 70 – no, oh, I'm sorry, 75% of the bananas in America. That's what it was. Oh, not of uh, all total goods. Not of all total That's goods. That's a big difference there. That's a much bigger <laughs> difference. Much bigger um, <laughs> difference um but uh but bananas are a bananas. big deal <laughs> bananas are a big deal if you trade in bananas <laughs> if you are a monkey this is terrible news for you i have to say uh but no um it, just in general i mean it's it's fucking yeah, it's, it's not a good sign they're talking about like three and a half billion dollars of uh of uh trade deficit loss um or, or commerce loss um in uh, in a week um due to this happening and apparently uh they're really far away from uh coming to terms i don't know when i saw what they were arguing for i was kind of like i don't know how i feel about this like they asking for a lot mm-hmm. but i don't know being a dock worker a longshoreman not yeah. exactly the easiest nah, job so a, yeah that's a tough gig but apparently they currently make somewhere in the eight they, you can expect to make around eighty thousand dollars they're asking for around a 77 percent increase in pay over Ooh. the next six years okay um, over the next six years and that's, um that's, that's, that's and they were nothing. offered 50 percent um and uh and they're they're turning that down but w- what i saw was that eighty thousand dollars was like the base pay, but that some of them can make over two hundred grand with overtime. Oh damn! And I was like, "Good God!" I mean, yeah, doing overtime as a longshoreman, I'm sure, is a ridiculous amount of work. Right. Um, but that's a ridiculous that's, that's amount of money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'd say meet in the middle by yeah. the end of this week and fucking call it a day, guys. Sixty-five percent. Let's all go home, go back to the docks, get her done. You know, people need their iPhones. Yeah, we do. And their bananas, damn it. And their fucking bananas. And their fucking bananas. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Uh, Let's see if I got anything else here. Uh, uh, Two more things. Um, Oh, here it goes. Uh, Imagine being a hostage... You're stuck in, you know, Iran or Afghanistan or Russia or something, right? Mm-hmm. And then you get, uh, you come home, um, you get, you know, U.S. works to free you. You're like, yeah, I come home. You come home on the plane. There's all this media, cameras, etc. You're super excited. Yeah. Um, you walk into your house and you open the mailbox and... There's a fucking bill from the IRS for back taxes from when you were locked up as a mm. hostage. Mm. Oh. Your credit card bills are backed up. Mm. Your credit score is in the hole. And no one gives a fuck that you were arrested and locked up abroad. I mean, yeah, that's... That I mean, the, they, yeah, they, they don't know what the flag, like, they're not sure. Hey, they call everyone every month. Like, Hey, are you a hostage anywhere? I mean, no? you All could right, make be sure a motherfucking paid. like national story. That's true. And that's true. They don't, doesn't matter. Fuck you. Pay me. So that's happened to a lot of fucking hostages that have come home. And apparently this happens a lot more than people really talk about like we hear about like the britney grinders and the mm-hmm. jason alziers and shit like that like those really big stories mm-hmm. but uh i think i saw something where like in trump's time he brought home like 45 hostages and in biden's term he's already brought home like 70 hostages Damn. and i'm like jesus christ who are all these people that are getting arrested right. on the other side of the world like fuck people hate america yeah. i ever get taken hostage i'm gonna make sure i act a damn fool i'm reaching for their for their peace and shit like i'm gonna try and make sure i ain't coming back like, i mean I'm gonna, I, if I'm, 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 I'm gonna go I'm wild telling my wife right now if i ever get arrested overseas taking a hostage 
like cancel all my fucking credit cards. Yeah. yeah. Freeze my yeah. credit. <laughs> like yeah. don't fuck up the family. Yeah, that's facts. That's legit. That's good. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. Sad we have to think about that. It is, you know, capitalistic country, you know, mm-hmm. the good and the bad, right? Sure. That's mm-hmm. And uh yeah. Man. Uh, and the last thing, uh, that I got here is, um, news came out, uh, that we've got, uh, a new little brother to, uh, mother earth. Um, we, uh, we got ourselves a mini moon before GTA six, a mini moon. What, What is that? It's like a an asteroid that's larger than a typical asteroid that gets caught in the Earth's gravitational pull. <clears throat> it said it's about the size the of Earth a bus. for a couple of months, I think, and then oh, it'll okay. take back off. Is it visible, like from? Like, I think see, it like, will little, be. Like, yeah, shooting stuff. Is it here yet, or what? How does I that? believe it is here? Oh, yes, okay. it, it is here. Okay. Huh. Yeah, they said it's about the size of a bus. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe not visible with the naked eye. Maybe you, you might need a telescope. telescope. Yeah. That's still dope. So. That's wild. So it's it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Dope that yeah, it's not going to hit us at least. <laughs> Definitely better than sucked, hitting dude. us. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Definitely still sucks that Rockstar hasn't been able to put out a video game before the mini moon showed up. At least up. a trailer. Give us like some gameplay trailer, bro. Like it's time. Anything. It's time. Literally anything. anything. Just talk about it. Just I want I want the official Twitter account to just tweet out hello, and I'd be like, yeah. cool, they're here, they're alive. <laughs> oh, there's t- <laughs> yeah, there's t- they're they're good. Oh uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh um, and real time update. Uh, there is a uh, vice presidential debate happening right now, and right. so far, no mention of dogs being eaten. No one's talking about the size of their rallies. It's kind of just boring old. Politics, I figured this like this would C-span. be like that. I think that's what we needed. I think. Yeah. I think it, it was we were due for a good old fashioned actual debate instead of a shit show. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping for some good, uh, you know, tidbits and stuff though. I mean, give me a little. I'm sure something there'll be from some there. sound I need, bites. I need I'm sure some, be some uh, sound bites, but nothing. Some funny. JD Vance shit to to pop off at. I'm sure he'll say something. Oh, I'm sure. Around, but... I'm sure he did. I can't wait. But, but nothing nearly is no is no provocative. god no god no. yeah i saw something earlier today that just had me so fucking rolling uh it was it was uh uh on um, not jd vance but um uh, his running mate um was mm-hmm. being interviewed and uh it was in response to you know everyone complaining about kamala not having uh any details <clears throat> of her plans Mm -hmm. uh, on what she wants uh, or what she's going to do when she gets in office. And then they they showed an interview of, uh, of, of Trump um, and someone specifically asked them in the interview. Mm -hmm. uh, So what is your specific plan to uh, lower the cost of goods uh, in America when you get into office? And this motherfucker starts saying, (laughs) you see, she can't answer this question because she doesn't even know how to answer these types of questions because she doesn't have any plans for, like, yo, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yeah. He thinks we're all just as fucking stupid as him. That's his problem. Like, bruh. I mean, obviously, there 49% of us are. So, yeah, there's, I yeah, get there's it. A, there's a good amount of people that really fucking are. Yeah, apparently. Uh, so he did. I'm apparently. guessing he didn't answer the question at all. That was no, his answer not. to the no, question. No, no, he continued uh, yeah. to talk about how uh, when he was in office that, you know, Russia took nothing, but they took it from Obama and they took oh. stuff from Biden. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with inflation in America, bro? It's a straw man. Uh, yeah. It's fun times right now. Oh, fun I times. Yeah. I really can't wait until this month is over and we can just yeah. be done with this election. Win That's or lose, how I uh, feel. just done yeah. with this shit. That's I'd how like I to feel. Be a... Yeah. You said I, I mean, obviously, I hope he loses, but 
Oh tired. yeah, of just, course. Done, but just I'm to done. be done with it would just be a, just I feel like a weight of, off like, our shoulders a little every bit. Every day, new sure. video clips and yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm, all, I'm off it. Yeah, what? since that was your last one here, I'll, I'll play it real quick. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. Since it's right on on par with what you're talking about, uh, a man that expect that. A man who continues to just take L's, hmm. right? Take L's, and no one ever talks about him until he publicly takes an L for himself, right? He, he does this to himself. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, Mr. Uh, Zachary Le- uh, Levi oh. uh, came out and threw his support behind Donald Trump. Now... Uh, you know, and he has the quote, you know, he's going to get us there. Now, if you haven't kept up with Zachary Levi, <laughs> he is, uh, you know, he's, again, just handing himself L's. No one ever asks him. No one expects much from Zachary Levi. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? At all. Mm-mm. At all. And then he just comes out of left field. And just serves himself an L and cries about it, right? So, if that is any indication that you are, if if you are a fan of Trump, if that is any indication of how wrong you probably are, <laughs> here is Zachary Levi to just solidify that for you yeah. and hand you the L that he's been taking, please. Please, just not not the guy you want in your camp. No, no, or possibly you do, because he makes a lot of sense to you, folks. Possible. Whatever. All right, cool. So, if if you see nothing wrong with that, uh, just look up the the list of L's that Zachary Levi uh, has been handing himself, and um, yeah, and then you decide. You decide if you're on the winning team there. Mm. But anyway, I'm just. Uh, it was just. Just hilarious to me that he just comes out and goes, you know what? Yeah, just to let you guys know. Uh, oh, no one asked? Well, I'm going to let you know anyway. I'm going for huh. Trump. I'm a bigger piece of shit than you thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> now, please continue to stop watching my movies. Yes. Go yep. watch the purple bullshit or whatever it was called. Harold the Purple. <laughs> Harold and the Purple. purple. Yeah. It honestly we'll see wasn't that. that bad. It was pretty good. <laughs> nah, but see, not because of gotta, Zachary Levi. You got to downplay it. You got to downplay it. Son. Not, it was not trash. because of Zachary Levi. That's you know, the true. only the only thing that Zachary Levi is good at is playing Zachary a man Levi? child. Hmm. Just playing a man child. Someone so who yes, is just Zachary not. Zachary Levi. Yeah, pretty much. You're yeah. right, Johnny. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Since Chuck. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That was the same character. Same character. Yep, that's what he's been doing. And he continues to do that in numerous roles. But guys, please, mm-hmm. by all means, don't even bother watching Deadpool and Wolverine. Because no, no, even no. though it was a good movie, and I love those guys, right? <laughs> they say no-no words. Mm-hmm. Right. You can't take your family to say no-no words. So instead of taking them to see that, come take them to see Harold and the Purple Crown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because we don't say no no words. Uh, think let's it's see. Adequate. Um, speaking of movies, uh, looks like Apple is rolling back its plans to release movies in theaters. Um, and I'd agree. Like they have some some uh, pretty good movies. Um, you know, some actually some some really good movies. Uh, but uh, Killers the, of the, the Flower bo- Moon. Killers of the Flower Moon, and that 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 was on this small list right here, right? Uh, of uh, films that released a wide theatrical release, uh, mm-hmm. how much they spent, and how much they received, right? So, Killers of the Flower Moon uh, spent over two hundred million dollars, made mm. one hundred and fifty six mm. in theater. Um, Damn. Napoleon spent two hundred million, mm. um, and the global box office made two eighteen. Right, so they made some money back there. A little bit. Uh, Argyle spent two hundred million, got ninety six. Oof. 
And then Fly Me to the Moon, they spent $100 million. They got back 38 I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is either. That's oh, the okay. Channing Good. Tatum, Scarlett Johansson movie about the fake moon landing. Oh. Yeah, I would have told you that that wouldn't have made. No, that I can't even believe that they released that in theater. I, I yeah, right. that would have killed. Shocked that that one came out in theater. That's what I'm saying. That would have that that would have been all right on Apple TV Plus. Yeah. yeah. If anything, I would have flipped. Like I can't. They based on the success of those four movies, they released Wolves straight to streaming, and I feel like Wolves would have been a good, a better theater movie, a better theater movie. They just, you know, I even with that the was other the plan. Th- I, it prob- I think it was originally supposed to be a theater movie, but they pulled yeah. it because of the 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 poor um, reception. The other ones, I think that their major problem uh, is that their marketing sucks. Like yeah. they're they don't plaster the world the way other studios do mm-hmm. to get people to go to the theater and watch a movie. Like yeah. I, you don't see constant commercials. You don't see great little clips and cuts. You know what I mean? And then the, the, the movies that they're like promoting, I mean, Argyle, I'm actually, I'm surprised that it didn't do better. Um, it it could have done a little bit better, uh, but again, I don't think they promoted it enough. Sure. Um, Killers of the Flower Moon was never going to be a great theater movie. It's three fucking hours long. Very long. Uh, All, n- the only thing that it had going for it was Leo DiCaprio and uh, Martin Scorsese. Scorsese, like yeah. if it wasn't so for, they probably bet so much on that. If it wasn't for Barbenheimer, I don't think Oppenheimer would have done as well as it did. And it didn't actually do that great in the theater uh, box office-wise. Mm-hmm. Um, really? Really? I don't think it did. I, I think, uh, let's see, what's the box office on that? Box office. I felt like it did really well. I thought so, at least, you know. the. <laughs> I think in comparison, I think the 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 Barbenheimer yeah. did well. But compared to, uh, to Barbie. Barbie. $957 million at the box office. Almost a billion dollars at the box yeah. office. And my man's <laughs> like, nah, they were tripping. Those no, Barb they, didn't, they didn't do that. They didn't, they didn't do that great. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, worldwide, yeah, worldwide. Sure, if you want to count like sure. China and stuff. Sure. If you want to call well, everybody that paid, then yeah, they did. Well, you know, just to, good, just, to, <laughs> just to put this into perspective, uh, the numbers that I gave earlier was the global release. So. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they didn't even break yeah. even. So they broke even on Napoleon. For whatever fucking reason, that movie I never, I never caught. Is Netflix releasing the Peaky Blinders movie in theaters, or is that just a normal no. Netflix? Netflix don't do no Netflix. theater Netflix, releases. Nothing in theater. Yeah, they, yeah. they're that's, that's, they're they're pretty that's staunch smart. on not that's doing smart. it. Um, and Apple thought that you know Apple Amazon, I think they've released some movies in theaters too, and they might have pulled back. Apple was on it. Um, and, uh, and now they're pulling away. I just think they're, again, I think their promotion is bad. Like it's, you don't see as much promotion as you do. Unless you're already watching standard. an Apple pro like that, show yeah, or movie. Yeah, sure. like if you're so. on your Apple TV, you'll see them. But other than that, you really don't, they're not just in your face. Every TV, t- yeah. Like walking right. the, 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 the subway or all over right. like Times Square and, like you just don't see like the crazy promotion that you see for other movies. Like even here, dude, it's the same thing. Like you don't, you would expect to see more billboards all something. over the place. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no. And, and that's I, I think, think why one. their box office numbers suck. I mean, what do they think people are gonna go just because it's Apple? Like that's right. a dumb nah. excuse. Um. So yeah, I'm not surprised that they're that they're pulling them out of theaters. No. It's unfortunate because I feel like. Again, I feel like a, a Brad Pitt, uh, George, George Clooney, Clooney yeah. if team that's up not movie, drawn at the theater, bro, then what? Like, the fuck? how many people don't even know that that movie exists right now? A lot. Yeah. A lot of people have no idea that there's a Brad Pitt, George Clooney team up movie that just came out. Did you watch it? And it was good. I haven't seen I it yet. It. I haven't seen it. No, I, I know I, you saw it. Walk. I was curious if Johnny. No, I mean my girl wants to see it. it. We just haven't um, found the time block to see it we've even talked about 
pulling a walk and watching it in parts. Oh, damn. Okay. But we've just watched Haven't other TV chance. shows instead. Yeah, we've so been easy. watching shows. You watch four-hour block of TV shows instead of the no two-hour movie. Now that's what nah, we do. We that's what we we're like. Now nah, we don't have time for a movie, and then we watch four hours of a TV show. <laughs> yeah. Now we're lucky if we get to an hour and a half of TV. I mean, but even then, like, uh, we only saw it because I got home directly from work. My girl was already, I don't know, she. Oh, you saw it set. together. Yeah, kids were sad. Oh, damn. And, she, damn. and she went to start it without me. And I was like, no, 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 no. Don't even fucking. <laughs> damn. Like, she stayed doing that shit. Um, Mr. Leisure time over here. So then so then I just sat down with her and saw it. We did have to, like, she stop like, it at one point. She was like, you don't want to watch this, right? I know. That's what I told her. I'm like, I'm like just really? Brad Pitt and George Clooney. You the fucking, mm. the, the Brad Pitt and George Clooney movie, you think I don't want to <laughs> watch that? I, I anyway. No, that's that's for women. That's for broads. Right. Broads like right. George Clooney and Brad Pitt. Um but no, uh yeah, so so I think we did stop it at one point to to eat dinner and serve the, the bone, kids up and shit. Bone and then zone. We, th- then we brought mm-hmm. the uh <laughs> then we brought the uh the the dinner to the room to finish it. Mm. When's the last time yes. you guys made and out with your bone. significant well, other like a- during a movie? What? During a movie. Made made out with your significant other during a movie. Like with like the you intent were teenagers, of, like with the intent of of just maybe I don't let's know interrupt this movie. Where is it? I don't know. I don't fucking even. know. <laughs> I want to say sometime this year, and it was probably was a movie like a I full out like a full on makeout. I can't think of the last time it was just like a yeah. makeout session. That's that's it crazy. I mean, I wouldn't call it a makeout session. It was <laughs> like a, um, heavy a, like petting. a foreplay makeout to we stopped okay. watching a movie and just boned. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. You ever do that during a show and then you got to like rewind the last half hour of the show? Yes. Damn right. That's what's up. I'm pretty All right, sure continue. In my diatribe, ignore me. <laughs> it, Wolves, yeah. huh? <laughs> Wolves. Earlier this Crazy. Time. Crazy. Wolves. <laughs> wolves. Nah, it was good wolves. though. Uh, wolves. Is it wolves or wolves? Wolves. I know. What, what's wolves? wolves? <laughs> what is <laughs> wolves? <laughs> Gotta watch it's it. Because... Find out, dog. Yeah, yeah. I guess Do so. they explain um, the reasoning for wolves and not wolves? Because if uh, not, I'm not loosely, watching it. They loosely uh, explain it. Do it's they the fact both have the last name wolf? No, they're ah. both they're both lone wolves right they're both mm. a lone wolf mm, but you just said wolves <laughs> i know because it's proper english that's like the um, lone rangers uh so they're can't have ghetto. more than one well the whole no the whole premise is like one you know they're they're both uh me, they're both cleaners right and right. they both are under the assumption that they are the only one Right. And and mid job, the second one comes in and then they get thrown into a job oh. forced to work together. What a debacle. Yeah, yeah. They're forced to work together, but they're obviously like really hesitant to to like really fuck with the other one. So it's like they're both Sounds like they ripped off Deadpool and Wolverine. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking nah, 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 I'm just fucking around. Nah. Not as um, bad as that other movie. <laughs> Oh, I'm just trying the, not to give any uh, shit. Uh, what was that? What was that? I'm, yeah, oh, I'm oh that was the... That's going to be... We're getting ahead of yeah, ourselves. Yeah, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but no, and that, that, that seems dope. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so uh, I, I, I enjoyed Wolves. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to check it. I really want to check it out. And Rebel Ridge. I still haven't checked out Rebel Ridge yet. I have seen Rebel Ridge Ooh. as well. <clears throat> I need to do some peeping. Yeah. Rebel Ridge. Yeah. That's Rebel getting a Ridge. lot of Rebel Ridge. Again, a lot of people um, excited. A lot of talk, with that a lot of, talk, lot of buzz. I love uh, a good matter, buzz. Matter of fact, that's a good segue into the next story. So um, let's see. So uh, remember we were talking about how uh, they gave um, – well, the, let me backtrack a little bit. DC is obviously coming out with a TV show for the uh, Lantern series. Um, and they gave the, uh, the main role of how, uh, uh, what is it? How Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Yes. How Jordan, um, to what was that actor's name again? I, oh, I, don't, I don't, I don't know. It. it was the, 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 uh, they gave it to that actor from, uh, mayor of Kingstown. Um, bunny, which well deserved. He, he's dope. Huh? 
Bunny? Oh, no, 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 Mitch. Um, dude yeah. Oh, Mitch. oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the actual, the yeah. original mayor of Kingstown. Yes. Um, gotcha. Hold on. What is? What was his? What was his actual name? I should probably bring that up. Uh, mm. da, 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 of course, he's not going to be me. in the first. Don't tell me. It was thousand people on this uh, list because he was only in the first episode. Mm. Kyle Chandler. Kyle, Kyle Chandler. Chandler. There Good we call. go. Uh, so anyway, that that role was given to Kyle Chandler. Mm-hmm. Um, so now the the rumors right now are that the top choices to play John Stewart in this series are Aaron Pierre, who starred in Rebel Ridge, mm-hmm. That's and what I said. Stephen James. Stephen James? Um, who's Stephen James? Stephen James, I don't know where he is from. Um, he's just a... Let's see. Stephen <coughs> James. And Steve Stephen Beastie. James. Wait, is it Stephen? He's dead. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? I don't think he's going to get it. Sorry, Stefan. Is it Stefan or is it Stephen? Ah, uh, Stefan. Now you're saying all kind of shit. All right, so Stephen James, uh, he was in Selma. He played uh, John oh, Lewis in Selma. Guy. Yeah, um, um, he was in 21 Bridges, yeah. Race. He was in uh, a few movies. Nah, nothing I've seen. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, both of these guys are relatively Unknowns. unknowns. I don't I'm okay with that. Know. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah, which is cool. Um, Aaron Pierre, <clears throat> he's getting a lot of buzz because of Rebel Ridge, and I already told y'all how I felt about Rebel Ridge. It was like, it was okay. It was all right. Yeah. You know, would it have been better if it was actually John Boyega? <laughs> Who knows? Probably. Maybe. Uh, but Aaron, Aaron Pierre, I don't know. All the moves that he was doing, all the action moves, to me just felt like they were very much staged and – he just didn't sell it to me, but mm-hmm. whatever, man. Like, I think he, he looks the part yeah. um, from what I've seen in the drawings and whatnot. Like, he definitely has the look. Like, he can pull that off. His acting chops to me, I don't I don't know um, if he can do that. But, you know, whatever. Give him a, another shot. He has a lot of buzz behind him right now. So, in all honesty, I wouldn't be surprised if he got that role just off of the Rebel Ridge buzz. You know, um, because that's all really it really takes is for you mm. to have something. Yeah. That's I, I mean, I haven't seen it. And that's what I was <laughs> voting for him was just off of the buzz. Yeah, that's uh, really all it takes. Uh, I mean, if he's not great, then I don't want to vote for him. I mean, <laughs> watch it for yourself. I, I've been waiting for you guys to watch it so you can tell me if I'm just bugging because I might be bugging. Uh, y'all know how I feel about John David Washington as much as I do like him as an actor. I feel like he doesn't have a ton of range. And people tell me that I'm crazy about that all the fucking time. Um, but he just acts the same in literally everything, which which it has served a lot of people well. Uh, but I think he's just, you know, John David Washington just plays that real cool guy uh, a little too well. That's it. That's all he he tries to bring his dad swag with him. Hey. Uh, But he ain't got his dad swag. Nah, nobody does, dog. Nah, nobody does. does. That's, uh, you know, Mm -hmm. that's the downside to having such a famous dad. That'd be tough, bro. Imagine your dad being so much fucking cooler and doper than you are. That's tough. (sighs) Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. Mm. I can't imagine my dad being having to live up to that, right? Like everyone felt like, yo, uh, what's up with your dad? What's he doing? What's what's good with your dad? You're like, fuck, man, I'm an actor too. Shit. He's talking about training day and shit. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm an actor. I'm a hater. I'm a hater. I'm a a hater. Uh, I just seen this uh, trailer for Beacon 23, the show that uh, Stephen James is in on Mm -hmm. MGM Plus. Mm hmm. Doesn't look. I mean, I, it, the show doesn't look that great, but his acting in the scenes that I saw, he mm-hmm. could probably pull off a lanterns. Yeah, I, it's a I, show, I, I right? know nothing or about. A it's, a it's a show. It's a series. Yeah, yeah. I could see him doing a, okay. a show. Yeah, the, and that's where I I will also give Aaron Pierre the uh, the benefit of the doubt on too. It's a it's a series. Um, I'm pretty sure though with James Gunn, he's probably going to have anyone in the series appear in the movies and shit. But mm-hmm. I mean, we, I, I don't know. I don't know how, how he's going to play that, but there's, um, he's doing a lot of shit for DC. 
Um, and I yeah, and I think that uh, I don't know. We got we got. He might be all right. We got to see what he actually pulls out of. We haven't seen a production yet from James. Not Kent. yet. Not yet. We we will. Oh, I, well, next Superman, year. The, the right? Superman. Superman. Movie. Yep. That's the and first it, one, but that's not really. It's a documentary. Oh jeez, nobody's asking you. Oh, Siri, oh she up. really, she really going on. It's the home pod. Mm. She love talking. Um, yeah, yeah. The um, um, the Super Slash Man movie uh, about um, Christopher Reeve. Mm. Mm. That's the first thing that James Gunn. Wow helmed dc is uh actually producing um and then and then the superman legacy movie but that's not coming out till next year right yeah so we got a long time of holding out hope for in in gun we trust yeah there's a lot of trust it's a lot there's, of trust that he's uh asking for there yeah there, there is a lot I'm, of trust. I, I, I was watching something the other day. What was it? Oh, they were doing, uh, I was watching New Rock Stars, um, and uh, they were doing a breakdown of the Thunderbolts trailer, mm-hmm. um, and um, they were talking about how Bucky has his arm back, and the fact yes. that, you know, we saw Bucky get, or Bucky's arm get gifted to Rocket in the Christmas Spectacular. And right. he were, and it was just like, yeah, I don't think James Gunn really cared about continuity at that uh, point. Yeah, and it made me feel like, yeah, man, was James Gunn just kind of giving Marvel the fu on the way out, or like I don't really care. Right. Here you go. Or Have fun with just, this. Is that like just his style? Like I don't know. It, Maybe yeah, it was I a replica. Know. Maybe it was a three D printed <laughs> replica. There's a little. A little walk out there, printing some shit, going hoard. I am about to do one of those. That'd be dope. Make Bucky's arm. That'll Fuck yeah. be fucking crazy. Right? Yeah, I mean, I can get the files. I know where to get them. You got a guy? Uh, Yeah, I do have a guy. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we're not going to talk about that. That's fair. That's uh, fair. Let's see. So, uh, I mean, speaking of... Um, and sensitive merch dot com. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah right. That's where we're selling our Bucky arms. <laughs> um, well, speaking of like what what what's coming out for DC, I mean they just um, they just announced a dynamic duo, um, uh, an origin story called Dynamic Duo, where it's about the Robins teaming up. Uh, both, um, which ones are they? Uh, Robins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the uh, Jason Todd and Dick Grayson. Oh, sounds um, homoerotic. No, it's a it's an animation. Uh, so at least it's not oh, a okay. Good. movie. The san- the animations are pretty dope for DC. Okay. Uh, okay. But as far as uh, movies and team up movies, you kind of alluded to it early, a little earlier. Uh, but uh, there's going to be apparently a Bane and Deathstroke uh, movie, which um, would be like a buddy buddy type of pairing uh, movie. How that would work, I have no idea. Uh, I don't think yeah. it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Is that I like think an this existing seems like... comic? I don't know if it's know? an existing who are, comic. Who are, you, who are you talking? Who are you asking that? Casual uh, nerds? I, I, I mean, I didn't <laughs> know if that was in the article or something. Just because like... It's random. Who the fuck wants to see a a whole movie about Bane? Like maybe Deathstroke, okay, but yeah. Bane? Like unless it's the comedic Bane from the Harley Quinn show, like a whole fucking. Does Bane even talk? Well, that's the thing, right? Uh, Is um, it could yeah. be. I mean, it's gonna be the same thing. Like Wolverine wasn't funny. It was. He was the he was the straight guy. He's the straight yeah, man, was, yeah. Yeah, he's the straight man. So you you need. I'm assuming Bane is the straight man, and, uh, and Deathstroke, Deathstroke is, is funny. He's supposed to be DC's uh, version of Deadpool. Is he? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's who is, that's who Deadpool ripped off, right? Deadpool ripped off Deathstroke. Yes. Really. Yes. 
He did. Uh, and no uh, and his name is um it was very similar. It was uh, Slade. Was? Slade Wilson. Slade Wilson. And MCU's like, nah, we're gonna make ours Wade Wilson. Wade Wilson. He's gonna look exactly. just like this motherfucker, but with different ish colors. Now, do they behave the same? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. We don't see but Destro. I'm Nobody assuming... cares about Destro. Now, there was a lot of people excited for uh, Deathstroke uh, Batman um, movie, yeah. and that was supposed to be what was supposed to follow um, in the Justice Snyderverse. League? Yeah. Uh, yeah, after Justice League and all that, that was supposed to be what was happening. That's why they did give the part to um, to Manganello. Joe Manganello, um, yeah. So, and and then that, uh, obviously that all went to shit. Mm-hmm. Um but there was so many. There were so many people who were excited for that, uh, for you know, for that movie, uh, to watch them to go, go, you know, battle it out. But I guess that was the that was the premise for um, uh, uh, Affleck's uh, Batman movie. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Probably so. would have been all right. Would have been tight. Yeah, but I can see a a, a Batman versus. Deathstroke movie more than I could see a uh, team up movie between yeah. Bane and Deathstroke, but I've never I, I I mean I've never seen that. It says here that this is the first time that it would be done. Mm. Um, uh, it's it's never been seen in any other projects. I don't know if that means comics, um, comics or what, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean. Good enough story will make a good enough movie. But. Absolutely, right. and that and that's no indication on whether or not they would make fucking Deathstroke a fucking, you know, a household name, right? Yeah, you know, if it's good enough, if if fucking Gun makes sure that that shit is fucking say. fire. Let's not forget it'd be Gun, you know, overseeing. Yeah, overseeing all that shit. Like if he makes it fire, yeah. I mean, I can see people. Then that would be the new costume of the, you know, uh, uh, of the year and shit. Another mask to print. Another mask to print. (laughs) Word. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Marvel Studios is rightfully um, planning on an Oscar campaign for Hugh Jackman uh, in Deadpool and Wolverine. Oscar? Yeah. Yeah. Oscar? I think I think he killed that. Like De La Hoya, <laughs> Oscar nomination. No. Oh, like nomination. Yes. Is that? No. A, are we thinking that's a stretch or? I thought I thought he I thought he killed it. He's at least. I mean, in the, it was in a, the, it was a it's dope. It's okay comic to be nominated. Role. Will he win? I don't know. I don't Probably think not. Worth a nom. No. For what I mean, you got to yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't. I mean, I as don't much know. as I, I love that movie, the Academy Awards. I feel I, like this is people like stretching you know, themselves to the best performances that make you believe something, and and, and just like feel something. <laughs> and this was just a, a very entertaining right. popcorn. Very, movie. very entertaining. Extremely popcorn. entertaining, <laughs> but Amazing. like. Logan, okay. Yeah, I would see. Yeah, I could see it for Logan more so. Fuck yeah, out of here. But because Oscar? they didn't get it, I think Come because on. they didn't get it for Logan, they they're trying to go for it. So really, uh, really, was there with, even uh, an emotional scene in this movie? Maybe it's just been long enough that I haven't. Just the seen very it. the very end was kind of emotional, but I don't think nah, Oscar. He had he had uh, uh, Jackman had a couple of scenes. Where he brought he brought not necessarily that you were moved by what he was doing, but he brought the emotion, like mm. uh, even mm. even that fucking dialogue in it. the minivan that that turned it into a fucking uh, into an all out fight yeah. brawl. That's true. That that was started by a fucking amazing ass dialogue by him that was driven by just straight up like you could feel the anger, you can feel the. The, the the passion and what he was saying, like you fully yeah. believed and he was just laying it in on him, bro. <laughs> yeah. But Oscar? Yeah. But I still yeah. don't see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like a couple I mean, MTV awards. Like... <laughs> a couple of the I would, space I would like to get. see 
a, a Marvel or not just a Marvel, but a a superhero comic book movie finally get some respect in the Academy Awards? Yeah, this is just not the one. I, it's I don't just see what it, but. He, Heath. But you know what? If anyone were to get it, give it to Heath. Well, Heath got if we one. were if we were talking about Ryan, right? saying, Heath, yeah, Heath would. Heath got Heath it. Was the only one that I could think Heath of. Heath got it, but he died at one. A legit. He, no, he he won it, and I I mean right. Don't you so, sully? Fucking, don't you sully his Oscar? He fucking murdered it. But it's always the question on whether if he if he sir if he lived to see that would they Probably have nominated not. him? Probably not. Probably mm. not. Not not at that time. What so that's that, why I'm saying, my man, 2006. Right. No. Yeah, not at that time. Homie Hugh don't have a chance then. My man had to die to get that Oscar. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, it's a different right. time we're in now. A different time. Um, and then now the last thing that I have to bring up is more speculation. And we kind of shared our thoughts with each other uh, in the uh, group chat. But um, share it with the audience and, and let's see how they feel about it. But there's a lot of speculation right now that uh, Blade... Um, might be directed by Jordan Peele. Mm. And, you know, this is, it, it's a stretch because it's really just based on the fact that uh, Mahershala Ali randomly just followed Jordan Peele yeah. on Instagram. Could he possibly be on another project? Right. Absolutely. Could be. Could be. Without a doubt. But um, but with everything going on with Marvel and stuff, and the fact that they're still looking for a new director and whatnot, there's yeah. that. That's where the speculation comes from. You know what I mean? Like they just lost the director. I'm not mad at it. I'm not yeah, mad at it. Absolutely man. not. No, I'm. I'm not. Ma- I don't have hopes for it. I don't think that's actually a thing. I, I don't think it's. A but thing I either. wouldn't. But I would absolutely not be mad at that. How? It, like, what would that look like? Because because uh, Jordan Peele's movies are very left field, right? They're very Twilight Zone-ish. Every single one of them um, is like a Twilight, the Black Cinema Twilight Zone episode, yeah. right? Um, yeah. So how would Blade fit into that? That's the only real reason why I feel like, I don't know if that's going to that that's gonna happen. Um, I mean, now thinking that... Um, it could fit in for Blade. Blade would be the one, yeah. but of any how, Marvel movie, I could see a Blade, Twilight, Zony type, twisty, semi horror type movie. Yeah, and and Jordan Peele would absolutely kill that. Um, yeah. And so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that 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 would be the case. Mm-hmm. Um, regardless on whether I believe it or not, I think it's sure. interesting. It's it's at least interesting. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, like I, wouldn't, I would, wouldn't be mad. Would definitely fuck with it. Um, just not not getting my hopes up too high. Nah. Nah. And and to be based off of just the fact that one person is following the other <laughs> yeah. on social media. Right. That's yeah. Seems like such a weird thing to weird stretch. I think it's happened. Oh, it's happened before. Like it's also like, why weren't they following each other before? It's a good yeah. question. I don't know. I don't see Mahershala just like on his phone scrolling through Twitter, watching reels, sending them to his boys either. So I don't know if someone's just managing his shit. He just doesn't seem like a social media type of dude to me. Like he's got other shit going on. Yeah, yeah. true. I mean, who knows? Who knows? People get bored. Mm-hmm. It's fair. But you're you're probably right. And that but that also, in my opinion, gives a little bit more credence to it. Because if somebody's if somebody who's like a PR person is managing that account, yeah. So then, that's more of a reason why they're they haven't been following each other, and now all of a sudden, oh yeah, give you know, let me jo- follow Jordan now that he's in the talks of all of this. So yeah. or his social media manager was on the shitter scrolling through his tweet. He's like, oh Mahershala, I should follow him. Boop. 
Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Wiped, right. got the fuck out of there, got on with his day, and then all of a sudden we're on this podcast talking about Jordan Peele about to direct a Blade movie. Speculation. It's all speculation until For until sure. they say some shit. That's all it really For sure. is. It's real. But anyway, Ooh, that's all I have. Okay. Y'all fucking with anything? Ooh, I am fucking with something. Ooh. Mr. McMahon. Ooh, Vince yes. McMahon docu series on Netflix. Johnny, it is a multiple parter. There's like I started six, it. six. Oh, did you? Oh my god, I did. I know. How much did you watch? Shocker! Just the first episode. Okay, okay. I'm. I have one more to go, so I've watched a decent amount of it. Um, have, did you like the first episode? I did. Yeah, nostalgic. It's yeah, it's, it's interesting. Nostalgic, interesting, wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All the above. I'm. Uh, I'm definitely fucking with it um yeah, other than that it's that. just been the same bad monkey i think dropped uh an app tonight um yeah wanda i'm caught up with penguin second episode dropped wanda you mean a agatha? couple days ago i'm sorry agatha i keep doing that i said that to Ash. she's like <laughs> wanda i was like oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I don't know. they're very they're wish. very like we intertwined i feel like they have a similar yeah. vibe yeah, yeah. yeah I actually, I, 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 I put the it. Agatha episode three on this week. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting there with Joyce. And I start watching episode three, and she's like, "What show is this?" <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> "The fucking Agatha show based on the <laughs> Wandavision." What are you talking about? You seen this yeah. with me? She's like, "I did not watch these. I did. What are you talking about?" And I'm like, no, we saw that this is while it's going through the recap. You don't remember none of this. And she's like, no. And I'm like, okay, pause. We got to watch this all over again. She's like, no, 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 just keep playing it. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to fucking no, let playing. you start this show on episode three. He asking me all these fucking random right. questions. And so right. no. I, I watched the first two episodes again. And then when we got to episode three again, I was like, doesn't it feel good knowing what the fuck is going on? She was like, oh, yeah, definitely. I'm not lost. She's still into it? Like, she rewatched. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She likes it. Yeah. And she really didn't watch it with you previously? She, she yeah, yeah. She, I, I really thought she did, but I must have watched it when she left. Because uh, I remember seeing it, like, during the day. So she must have, like, left to the store or something, and I just watched it on my own. I remember you rewatched Penguin with her. I did, yeah. And she's, I, I also, so we watched uh, that last night. Um, but also, as we started <laughs> episode two, and like, I didn't watch the recap, this. What the fuck are we I'm, watching? No, I'm remembering uh, shit. You fell asleep at the end of the episode. Uh, I had to pause it fuck. before the recap finished. Yeah. Go back and watch the last 15 minutes of the last episode. <sighs> And then watch the full episode. She's really into the penguin. She's she yeah, actually, no, same. Yeah, so are me and good. Ash. She loves sure. it. Yeah. You you watched uh, episode two, Walk? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's a f- fucking phenomenal show. I, I, yeah. I think. Oh, and I pointed out to her um, that the penguin was Colin Farrell, and yeah. it blew her fucking mind. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Chicks know yeah. sexy Colin Farrell. They don't know right. fat mob She's boss like, whoa, Colin whoa, whoa, Farrell. Whoa, what? And what? then, uh, and I told her that before we saw the last 15 minutes of the first episode. So then when it got to the scene where he was butt ass naked, mm-hmm. she was like, I, I just can't believe that that's Colin Farrell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's great. The, the makeup effects team, excellent job. Killer. Um, and of course, Colin Farrell, excellent job. Like, I, I told y'all in the group chat, homie deserves a fucking Oscar, Oscar for a TV Oscar, show. Dog. Cross, <laughs> that'd be the so wildest good. Oscar win ever. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> um, anyways, what am Definitely I fucking with? I'm fucking with Penguin for sure. I'm fucking with um, uh, um, the monkey, uh, Bad Monkey for sure. But uh, oh new things I started this week. Old Man Season 2 picked up. Mm. Um and uh and Tulsa King season two picked up. I need to watch uh Tulsa King. Old man, we saw the first couple of episodes and it was like really slow. Mm. It's um, it's it's yeah, it's a slow burn. Yeah, it was it was really slow. We gotta we gotta pick that one back up again. But um mm. yeah, and other than that, we still fucking with uh Menendez brothers, the monsters. Oh mm, yeah, I got, we gotta start that. Probably that after uh wild. That shit is McMahon. wild. I, I just don't really want to watch the brothers make out with each other or almost make out with each other. 
I knew nothing about their about the stories of the Menendez brothers yeah. other than when because when when we were kids that's when all that shit was going down yeah. and like I remember them being mentioned in like fucking cable guy when he was watching it and they were talking about the Menendez brothers and it was played by fucking Ben Stiller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, You know, and shit like that. Right. Where they were. And the Menendez brothers attorney, like stupid, funny movies, shows and shit that would bring up references. Brothers. Yeah. References. And I knew that they killed their parents. I knew nothing else about this. So watching this series and it's very interesting on how it unfolds, right? It's like yeah. the first first episode, their point of view, how it goes down, like seems like very cut and dry, right? Like they they have some sort of, you know, logical thought in their head of how it goes down. Then episode two, slightly different. Now you're seeing, uh, you know, where where they were fucking up like a lot. And, you know, and Not like the from the, the point of view from other people and like the people that would like call them out and be like, like, wait, what's going on? And then they would just like th- the way that they were just acting irrational and all erratic and, mm-hmm. you know, the shit that they were doing afterward. And then the next episode just kind of exposed more of that. Uh, and then they fucking got to the fucking um to their murder. therapist and all that mm. shit. No, the murder was first episode. Oh, uh-huh. uh, so they, bang, yeah. So bang. then the third episode was like their experience with the therapist, because if you know anything about it, like the therapist was huge on why they got caught. Uh, and it, and then, and then it's like the trial. So it's like, it like breaks it down. Um, and it's, it, it's getting very, very fucking interesting. Um, I heard, but yeah. um, that it, Needs to be watched as a form of entertainment only. Yes. Yeah, because he's getting uh, a it, lot of shit. The, it seemed pr- like the that producer was... showrunner mm-hmm. is getting a lot of shit for very dramatized and oh yeah for not, not like almost yeah. none of it being factual. Yeah. Other than the fact that he, they he, killed like their parents, the, they killed their parents, and the the therapist being a big part of it. Uh, but that a lot of it was very stretched out, and, a lot, and then he's been getting a lot of shit. And then they circled back to uh, the shit that he did with the Jeffrey Dahmer one, and mm-hmm. how a lot of that was over dramatized and not. Yeah, I mean, factual uh, yeah, I mean, well. I would assume that a, a TV show about this, yeah, there's going to be some fucking liberties and dramas and and all that. Usually, shit. Usually, like, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. want it, yeah. If you really want to know what happened, as far as like with the facts uh, outlined, watch fucking true crime. There are documentaries yeah. right. that have so been many. released for so fucking, many. yeah, for decades. So yeah. go watch those. Uh, but this is a fucking TV show about a real life situation. And it's, and it is very interesting uh, yeah. to watch. Uh, mad interesting. So, I, I mean, I, I would recommend it. It's, Did it, you guys it's pretty ever see the, the Menendez brothers basketball card? Do you, do you remember reading I, about I, that? Yes, 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 yes. I, I remember. Yes. Uh, yeah. Where they were, yes. there was someone else's, well, obviously it wasn't them, but they were sitting courtside and they were on the card. Yeah, yeah. And somebody noticed that. I don't know if it was, you know, directly after, but supposedly like they were catching a game, like after they had murdered their parents, like somebody <laughs> found the, you know, the date of the game and sort of lined it up timeline wise as... It was like I the thought same about just day buying or a like copy. the same week. No, I feel like it was the same week. Like, yeah, okay. it was very, very close to. Uh, it wasn't. I don't think it was that day. Do Do they show that in the uh, in the monster show? Yeah, they catch him at a basketball game they, walk. They don't show him at the basketball game front row. Um, I, I don't remember them specifically like showing that that part of it, but they did all kind of wild that shit. After, oh, I believe it. Yeah, after that, the fucking I would have too. Him. Fucking coke binges and shit. Buying the Dunkin' Donuts menu up. They got wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they got wild. Um, but I, I would still recommend watching that. that show. Word. It's, I'm a it's peep interesting. It. I, uh, the the monster series. I actually I actually yeah. do like. Do you know when next season is going to be? Uh, do we do you do we talk about this at all? It's going to be uh, so. Char- Charlie I, I Hunnam I've seen. playing Ed Gein. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, that was I, I saw didn't even that. know they already announced the next season. 
Yeah, within the last, uh, I don't know, week or two, that's been uh, out and about. Interesting. So I love Charlie Hunnam. It should be. Yeah. Yeah. It should be good. Did you watch Ed his uh, Apple TV that's, show? That should be interesting. Ed Gain. Hmm. No. What was it? Wasn't it? Was he like a knight or something? Or am I thinking of that movie he did where he was like a... No, yeah, it was like uh, uh he was terror. like in India or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, I do remember seeing a trailer. No, I definitely didn't watch that. I guess so I don't like love I him as much as I and thought I fell did. asleep and never picked it back up again. Sounds like a good time. And it was like I started <laughs> it, you know, at one in the morning type thing. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm totally awake. I could watch this right now and then That's I your toxic asleep. trait. It oh, is you think you always think you're way more awake than you are. Absolutely. Shantaram. <laughs> Shantaram, yeah. That Shantaram. Sounds, mm. sounds that just sounds like something I don't want to watch. I'll be <laughs> yeah. honest with you. You could have yeah. done better with the title. It, I feel like the premise was good. It was interesting. Yeah. But it but that's never an sucked off-putting. me in. Didn't suck me in. Uh, as much as I, I don't like to say this out loud, but I don't know. You it, don't like Indian this, shit? Yeah, it just it takes place in India. I just feel like a Bollywood style dance sequence is gonna pull. No, I'm I don't think there is. As long as I don't have to go to India, I know there's cool. not. I know there's not. I was just trying to be a dick. <laughs> I could, Watch, there's I gonna could, be one. I could get the vibe though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see that listed on his upcoming movies though, or on his upcoming gigs. Uh, Monsters, Monster, Ed Gein. yeah. Nice. Yep. Do you know who Ed Gain is, Johnny? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very. Uh, I would love to see that. <laughs> We're that, gonna, baby, mother, buckle up. Yeah, how that motherfucker was mm-hmm. was living. <laughs> Not good. It's gonna be wild. Yeah, fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, mm-hmm. Leatherface is based loosely based on him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's gonna be interesting. Charlie gonna kill it. Yep. All right. Uh, anybody else has anything to add to this stellar conversation? No. Nah. What the nah, fuck I think was I'm that? good. <laughs> I don't think Johnny made a weird noise over there. Is that right? <laughs> Something with this. It sounded like a <laughs> fucking champagne bottle popping <laughs> and shit. <laughs> popping bottles into the episode, oh, baby. That's how we do. Bottles. Getting ready right. for tacos. Well, we're going to celebrate that. Guys, thank you for making it this far into the episode. If you've made it this far, that means you fuck with us and we fuck with you. Remember to rate, review, subscribe to the podcast. Us. Wherever it is that you are listening or watching, uh, just show us a little bit of love. It goes a long way. Uh, remember to go to insensitivemerch.com. Grab some gear. Stay drippy with drippy. And, uh, you know, support us by uh, subscribing to the uh, Casual Nerds. Uh, subscription, get yourself, you know, it's, it's a dollar. It's a dollar, yeah, right? You get a little bit yeah. more uh, of the episodes. And uh, we talk a little bit, uh, you know. Kind of little shit. Yeah, we, talk, we talk our shit in the beginning of the episode. Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Yep. Uh oh. I suddenly like dick. Yep. That's where I made my confession. So you should uh, sign up for that. Miss so more of those gems. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll catch you next week. Peace. Peace.